What's happening people? Welcome to another video with all sorts. We've got another smartwatch. This is not the Ultra, it's the Series 9 HK9 Pro smartwatch. It also has chat GPT, but we're going to check that out later in the video. As always, make sure you follow me on one of the social medias above. As always, put up sneak peeks on what to expect on all sorts. And as always, make sure you subscribe and also hit the bell notification so when you load any video, you'll actually be notified. So in this video today, we'll take a look at the box, see what we get inside and take a look at the design of the smartwatch. Then we'll check out the smartwatch to see what the operating system is like and overall functions as well and also give you the specification lift list of what this HK9 Pro is so let's get started Here it is, the HK9 Pro. This is the Series 9 model, looks really nice. So if you don't like the Ultra version, then this smartwatch is for you as this has loads of features, really nice touchscreen, smooth as well. With this one, you have to push the crown in to switch it on. And there we go. Hello, power by Wearfit. And look at the neon clock watch face, really nice. And that is the always on display. So when you hit it, it goes back. So that's a really nice feature. Uh, let's check out the watch faces. So you have a few watch faces already preloaded on here. You can install and uninstall watch faces, add your own watch faces as well. But you have to do that through the app. So let's leave this neon watch face on us. It's really nice. There we go. So let's swipe it down. As you can see, you got your message notifications, swiping it to the right. You've got your split screen, swiping it up. You have your show course. As you can see, you've got your uh, tilt to wake. Uh, you have your vibration phone. Oh, well, th that is your uh, location for your uh, smartwatch. 18% battery. This is always on display, which will switch off because battery is quite low. This one is your name card. So you can send out your name card via QR code. We'll come to the menu later. Let's go back into shortcuts. Do not disturb. You can lock it and also put a passcode on it as well. Alipay, you've got your uh, name card as well. You can send your business card. This one here, what is that one? To enable use wake skin to scan QR code. No idea what that is. So you've got your al alarm clock. Here is your remote control. Uh, which you can control your videos and your TikTok and stuff like that. GPS positioning, you got to, uh, most of the stuff you've got to do uh, through the app. So you've got to uh, put your details in and connect it to your phone and it will actually uh, work from there. Torch, no idea why they put this on because it doesn't actually work. This is Chat GPT, the second version. So you can ask anything and uh, it'll do anything for you. Ask anything online and stuff like that. And this one is your language, which you can actually change. Look how much language it is. It's got if you want to know if the crown works yes it does crown does work so you can change your languages there settings you can actually go into settings but let's scroll all the way down is that froze or is it me the smartwatch has froze it sorted so far after a few seconds maybe because the battery is low i'm not too sure but here is settings you can put your own personal information your weight your height and everything like that swipe back does it work or is it crashed again no it's not crashed again swipe back doesn't work it only works on a few other things so let's go back into settings so you got your notice let's check out the settings red dot alert notification prompt notification content swipe back does work but you've got to get it at the right place there we go. And the touch sensitivity and the smoothness is really, really nice. So universal about this machine, watch one HK9 Pro, HK1. So you've got a few HK9 Pro 
call so that's what you need to do in the bluetooth settings to activate um, um, notifications from your messages and also your uh, calls as well language settings we've changed the language uh, you can change the language connect your phone you got to download wayfit pro app restore factory settings and reboot uh, do not disturb mode you can change the time and everything whichever you want to do it display and brightness you can do that on all the way up i'll switch it down because the battery is low wrist to wake up we'll switch that off assistant light mode clock display look how much um setting this got on the displays really cool screen off time five seconds we'll switch that up a bit because we don't want to take it too off always bright can do that tw up to 20 minutes which is good wake screen always after 15 minutes after one hour and that is about it so you got your app view you've got four different views which i'll show you later cellular list to do con wrapping view i'll show you that later and it shows you what it's like so you got sound and touch you can uh, put your sound the swipe does work as well really cool call to ring powerful crown tactile so you got your password that's for the split screen and also when you lock your uh, watch you can use your password key customization double tap for the dock or you can change it to whatever you like look how much settings you can change it to swipe back does work battery it just shows you 15 percent battery left um sleep look how much more you can switch through sport mode um, this is the settings for sport mode as well so you can change a few settings heart rate so you have got settings for near enough every app on this smartwatch which is cool aerobic fitness activity record a daily reminder and a help guide as well which you need to download the qr code from there so that is the settings with this smartwatch swiping it to the left you've got your current heart rate so clip it keep it close to the skin let's uh measure it on our desk and as you can see the christmas flashing lights are going daft as always and it's 85 beats per minute on my desk 83 85 beats so some of it's going on inside the desk but as you know the these are false readings when it comes to these smart watches so as you can see you can swipe again for your remote control uh, and also your breathing your activity records your music player which you need to download the app and also swiping it again is it swiping no that's about it so you only go up to music player so let's go into menu and as you can see you got your list view this is your sudoku view this is another view which is like a wheel as you can see and you've got your smart view which you can zoom in and zoom out however you like so we'll change it back so as you can see here we've got the list view let's see what apps it's got so sports mode let's see how many sports mode you've got the animation as well so it's got quite a few sport mode about 10 swiping it back uh you got your it has that animation when you swipe so it's got is it that they do navigation that's a new navigation i've not, never used that before uh chat gpt which we'll check out once we connect to the app uh, you've got chat gpt memo as well which we need to connect to the app which we'll do that later uh, let's go back down it goes back to the top as well so wait wakes no idea how you pronounce that so that's a new pay app probably the chinese version of japanese uh, you got your sleep uh, it's a bit weird but you have to go all the way it goes all the way to the back so you got your pressure activity record phone calls as well recent calls so you can change that how you like it you got to put your finger on the edge of the screen and swipe it and i've got to say the smoothness is really cool so if you don't like the ultra version i'm probably saying this is probably the best one for you because it's got all the features you would need on here uh, music control uh, voice assistant or siri whatever you got activated weather alarm clock as well so it's a new layout alarm clock uh, you got your breathe timer as well is that a new layout yes it's a new layout which is cool uh, you have your stopwatch which is pretty basic going back down calculator which looks like my uh, phone swiping it back come on mate take it off then 
uh, use the crown so you got your uh, short remote control you got your compass which you need to calibrate uh, camera find phone message so your message notifications you can't message back but you can actually receive message notifications and re read the messages alipay settings which you check gps positioning your blood sugar and you've also got one game on here which is flappy birds a knockoff version of flappy birds and there you go so you have to keep tapping the screen if you don't tap the screen it's going to fall down to the ground there we go so overall not a bad watch i do like the uh, design series 9 design even the screen to body ratio is really nice as well this watch uh, watch face is really nice i'm gonna see if i can download it on my um, apple watch ultra but yeah let's connect it to the app and let's see what other features we can use while it's connected just make sure my bluetooth is on let's go into wearfit pro make sure this bluetooth is on as well sometimes they be off but hopefully it should go on this has actually got some ads on here now so let's go to devices delete this one um show my choices hold on a minute you've got that much ads on this i was going to swear then but uh where if it pro up this is going to be better ones out there than this so let's go back to devices add a device hk9 pro let's press connect and hopefully it should connect so we'll just go at the top and as you can see it's gone green here so it has connected <clears throat> we'll pair it again hopefully it does pair twice as well allow notification as you can see we've got another ad so connection successful let's press ok so let's see what else we've got when it comes to this Wearfit Pro. So as you can see, if you connect it twice from the Bluetooth settings that activates your calls and your notification text messages or your uh, social media um, apps and stuff like that. So let's press cancel there. And as you can see here, you can change your dials, download some, some you have to pay and some you have to, uh, some are free and you can put your customized dials on yourself. Quick tutorial of uh, the guide, what you can do, notifications, you can toggle these on and off as well. So let's go back, favorite contacts, you can do your favorite contacts, wallet, you can put your details on for your WeChat, Alipay or PayPal and it comes to a QR code on the smartwatch and then you can do it from there same again with your information from your facebook whatsapp twitter and wechat you got your reminders you have your weather uh, which will close we don't need to see the weather because it's really cold out here uh, taking pictures alarm clock uh, find watch and as you can see you've got the tone right there we found it straight away with the settings you've got rate to wake and your measurement uh bad do notifications so close that because that'll just give you a uh, gps positioning where you are you can do navigation from there schedule management just like a calendar uh, and also you've got your mobile permission settings uh, which whichever one you want to use firmware update it's on the latest firmware uh, equipment information and delete current device so hopefully once it's connected to the app we are going to check out the chat gpt so let's move the phone aside as you can see it's got it connected so hopefully while it's connected to the app you can use your chat gpt so let's scroll down and try and find where is chat gpt now there we go see how what you mean when smoothness of this so it's data, data synchronization please wait uh, so ask me anything also bluetooth enabled you've got to connect it through the bluetooth settings as well what is the time in america press finish so it's just gathering what i actually said and the mic actually is on the smartwatch itself so hopefully it should get, grip that and it should uh, text you what is the time in America? Hello, the time in the United States is different from the time in China. If you want to know the time in the United States, I presume, you can query the time zone difference between the United States and China and then add so basically it's just giving you information that you can check out the time zones but what i'm going to ask it now i'm going to ask it something else now 
low power. So let's ask it something quickly. I'm going to ask it which is the best uh, cryptocurrency to buy. Let's ask it that. Which is the best cryptocurrency to buy? Let's see what ChatGPT will tell us. So it's just gathering the information and hopefully it should put it at the top. Which is the best cryptocurrency to buy? Let's see what the answer is or what ChatGPT tells us. As an AI language model, I can, can't can prove you or well, provide you with the best cryptocurrency to buy. Cryptocurrency is a highly volatile and unpredictable market. Obviously, I knew that. But yeah, you can actually ask it anything, this chat GPT. So overall, it's not a bad smartwatch. If you don't like the ultra design, as I said, this is probably the best one for you. If you've got any other questions or want to see any other videos with this smartwatch, let me know in the comment section below. Thanks again for watching and I will see you again for another video.